Sage has a well-deserved reputation for being a bit fussy about its growth requirements. A member of the Mint family, it's not as easy going as other Mint family members. It prefers a sandy soil that drains quickly and needs at least half a day of sun. Morning sun and late afternoon shade would be an ideal location for it. Now high humidity and heat or too much rain can cause it to shrivel and die, so many gardeners treat sage as an annual. I often need to replant it after the dog days of summer have stressed it. Few plants bother sage and deer won't bother to either though. If your soil tends to be more clay-like and holds water, plant sage in hills or in raised beds and avoid mulching the plants or use pea gravel or granite rock around them to keep the base of the plant drier. Fuzzy leaf plants like sage don't like water sprayed on the foliage so they do best with drip irrigation. Now sage is used for southern style cornbread dressing and for flavoring turkey, but it also works in pork sausage. It works well with beans, onions, potatoes, bread, cheese, meat marinades and sauces, and even with pear and apple dishes. I enjoy sage and apple cider vinegar too. Sage has been used for centuries for medicinal uses. Sage comes from the Latin word salvare, which means to be saved. It was once used as commonly as aspirin is today. It's good for the memory and as an aid to the digestive system. A tea brewed from the leaves is soothing for a sore throat and it can be used as a mouth rinse due to its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Sage leaves are dried and used in sleep pillows to promote re relaxing sleep. Salvia officinalis, or garden sage, is the most common variety. It grows to about 24 inches when mature, but mine seldom lasts that long uh, to get that size. There is a dwarf sage that has smaller leaves and is well suited to container planting or to be placed in rock walls or strawberry jars. Purple, golden, and tricolor sages are very ornamental, but they're just not as flavorful as garden sage. Beargarten sage has much wider leaves and a much more robust flavor. Use less of this one when you're cooking. It tends to be more tolerant of heat and humidity than garden sage, and this type rarely flowers. It's a bit easier to grow. Now, Nazareth sage is a hybrid of Salvia officinalis and Greek sage from Israel that grows taller and has larger leaves than common sage. It's more tolerant of heat and humidity, and it's an attractive landscape plant as well as a useful culinary herb. The flowers are beautiful in arrangements too. This plant is another find from Texas herbalist Madeline Hill and Gwen Barclay. It's also known as fruticosa sage. Prune it frequently, especially after it blooms, to keep it from being woody. I've had this sage in my garden for over 15 years and it's still robust and healthy. Sage leaves are best used fresh, but they can be dried and stored. The flavor declines quickly with storage, so replace your dried sage after about six months or so. Rub the sage leaves to release the essential oils before you add it to food. Now sage flowers are edible too, so I enjoy using those in a lot of dishes where the flavor of sage might be overpowering. For Backyard Basics, I'm Trisha Shari. Thanks for watching. Thank you.